in this video, I want to prove uh, one of the uh, formulas of area of a triangle. Now, area of a triangle, you may have learned, uh, this is uh, the most common formula, area of a triangle is half times base times height. Or in some books, they say half BH, where B is the base and H is the height. So this formula is fine, but uh, the problem with this formula is that you have to find the height to find the area of the triangle. Now the next formula is based on trigonometry, where you, if you have two sides and the included angle, you can find the area of the triangle. Okay, so let me delete this. So this is a triangle ABC, and uh, this is triangle ABC where uh, the sides opposite to this say angle A, this BC, line segment BC is denoted by letter, this is a convention that small case or lower case A is the side opposite to angle A, which is the uh, bigger case A or capital letter A. So A is BC, so let me write this BC or the, the length of BC is A and BC is opposite to angle A. Okay, now AC or the length from A to C is referred as lowercase b, which is the angle, which is the side opposite to angle B. And AB is referred by the letter C and AB is opposite to angle C. Okay, now I have hidden a formula here. So let me delete this. Okay, let me move this. Now this is the formula. Area of any triangle is half AB. It's a very easy formula to remember. AB times sine C. Okay, so AB includes angle C. So this is how I remember. It's half or 0 0.5 times A times B times sine C, or it is half BC sine A. Angle A is included or formed by B and C. Or it is half AC sine B. Okay, so let me delete this. Okay, now <clears throat> it's basically two sides, half times two sides times sine of the angle included between those two sides. So let me prove one of them. You can prove the rest. Okay, so this is say triangle ABC. I'm going to draw a perpendicular from A on BC. So let us say this is a perpendicular from A on BC. And let me call that say this point as this is the foot of perpendicular. So let me delete this. This is a foot of perpendicular from A on BC. So this is a right angle. So we say that this length is A. Okay. So this length is A and say let us call this H for height. So let us start with the area of the triangle, the well-known formula half base times height. So area of triangle ABC, area of triangle ABC is half base times height, which is half, B stands for base, so let me write, not to confuse you, so let me write instead of B, I can write half times base times height is the formula. Okay, so here, what is the base? The base of this triangle is, for this corresponding height, the base is A. So can we say that is half times A times height. So this is the same, the simple base times half base times height formula. Now, for this sign, if this is angle C, let me change color. So can I say, what is sign C? Sign C, sign C using Sokatoa, Sine C is opposite over hypotenuse. Your hypotenuse is B. So can I say it is 
H over B. Okay, using so katoa. Okay, so is opposite over hypotenuse. For angle C, the opposite is H and the hypotenuse is B. So if you make H the subject, this implies H is nothing but B sine C. H is nothing but B sine C. So say this is result 1 and say this is result 2. So in place of height, H, what can I put? I can put B sine C. So let us write substituting, substituting 2 in 1. That means in place of H, I can replace by B sine C. So I can say therefore, area of triangle ABC, area of triangle ABC is half times A times H is B sine C. And so we've got the formula, area of triangle is half AB sine C. Okay, now same way you can prove, you prove this, you can prove this, uh, BC, if you drop a perpendicular from B, uh, from C on AB. Same way you can prove also this.